Babe, as I stand before you today, I promise to be your partner through all of the adventures life brings our way. I vow to laugh with you in times of silliness, dance with you spontaneously in our living room, now that I've had a good few lessons, <laughs> uh, be your teammate in every journey we undertake, and to celebrate your triumphs as if they were my own. Um, I also promise to listen when you don't feel heard, see you when you don't feel seen, and support you in times of doubt. I love you more than anything. I don't say it out of habit, but as a reminder of our promises this day, with you I found my home. You are quite literally the best goddamn thing to ever happen to me. <laughs> and I'm excited for every new day I get to cherish with you. Thank you for loving me, not just the best of me, but also the flawed parts that are still figuring life out. I couldn't dream up a better partner to share this life with. I love you. Amanda, babe. <laughs> I'm an overthinker. We both know that. So first I want to thank you for giving me the gift of a simple life. Not simple because it lacks adventure, but simple because I will always know who I want to go on the adventure with. Not simple because we never disagree. Simple because I know I can trust you with what's in my mind and what's in my heart. Not simple because it lacks opportunities, but because with you, I don't have to look so hard to see the possibilities. Not simple because it lacks hardship, simple because the future matters now, and I know the difficult moments are worth facing. You gave me this gift, and in return, I make these promises to you. I promise to love you, that one has not taken much effort. I promise to be patient with you, and patient with myself, and patient with those who love you, and patient with those who you love. I promise to communicate with you as my partner and my equal, and to be your biggest supporter, and to be the one who challenges you. Most importantly, I promise to keep these promises to you until the end. You are my life's greatest curveball. I love you, and I look forward to calling you my wife. I'm so excited that my brother's married, and not just that he's married, but that he's married to Amanda. We we love her so much, and it, it, she's just, she's amazing in every way. She's beautiful and kind and compassionate, and above all of those other things, the way that she loves Bill is, is just on a different level. His life is better with Amanda. I, I, I know that seems oversimplified, but like, that's the truth. Their lives are better together. So to Amanda, Thank you for loving my brother. Thank you for supporting him, caring for him, and loving him for who he really is. Thank you for loving my family as your own. And to the sister I never knew I wanted and who I can't imagine living without, thank you. And to Bill, I love you. Every day I'm thankful that you're a part of my life. And I thank you for inviting me to be a part of yours. Thank you for choosing Amanda and for finding the love and the joy that you've always deserved to be sitting here today next to my best friend and the state of Arizona would probably tell you that we are legally married. She was my roommate for over seven years <laughs> and in the state of Arizona, she is my wife. <laughs> but I'm more than happy to share her and to give her to Will today and to tell her that she's one of the most important people in my life and that I'm so glad, Will, that it was you. Is there not 
very many people in this world who could even come close to deserving somebody as great as Amanda. But you do.